All right, greetings and salutations. I uh, wanted to show you my injection molding machine. Uh, I built this bad boy after I found some uh, drawings, more or less, on the internet uh, and a picture of the thing. And through that, after I found out uh, how big they made the heater, cartridge heater, I scaled it down based upon the picture. Uh, and I was able to come up with my own drawing. Get a closer view now. So, as you can see here, our uh, two cartridge heaters that I put on each side. Uh, down here is a little nipple. Pipe fitting. Right there. Uh, this is simply just a threaded hole that I use to uh, Make it go down and up. Uh, this is the piece that I'm least fond of um, in the design. I couldn't really get a clear understanding of that. Uh, it works for the little molds I do, but I'm sure you could, someone could figure out a better way to do that. Uh, the mechanism is is pretty simple. Just a latch left. Uh, it's heated, so I used this before. It's heating up. I want to get it to 395. To 380 and it's slowly going. Um, I have the circuit hooked up, the output, which is also that light on the relay, hooked up to a light as well as output to power to the cartridge heaters. And then a threaded hole inside the block nearest the tip uh, to tell you the actual temperature. Um, this is my circuit, and from that. This is the main guy, the $20 guy. This is just a old power supply case that I went ahead and refurbished. Took out the fan, put in this, and I had stamps, so I <laughs> just couldn't help myself. Uh, in the back end, the reason I liked it is because it has a uh, built-in power receptacle and uh, power switch. And there, there's got to be a better mechanism for this. I grease these fittings here. Uh, if we can take a look at that. And then just two bolts right there holding it in. Two bolts here holding the, the rod in place. Uh, that grooved out so it'll move in and you can press it down. Uh, this needs some more plastic before I can, can test it out. Uh, as you can see, I welded most of my joints here. But um, the only point that seemed like it had to be welded was this, because it's fitting like right on here. But I guess you could get an angle piece and fit it in there and screw it on if you're adverse to welding. So with this setup, the temperature controls controls the temperature of the block. And the block is what melts our plastic here. So there's supposed to be another, I have the holes for it. But there's supposed to be another little piece that helps guide it, that holds it right in right there, so this won't move out. But uh, I broke the tap off inside um, one of the holes. So for a little test mold, I actually just made this right here. And at first I tried to inject at this point and make it go down. However, I'm not getting enough pressure. Best I could do that way was, <laughs> was that. <laughs> so uh, to save face for me I actually just took the top plate and drilled a little hole in it on the top so it injects straight down into it and uh, grooved out a square that fits perfectly on that guy when I screw it in there but first I need to add some some plastic in there what I've been using for the plastic is coat hangers and all I've been doing is snipping them up and dropping them in. Being careful not to touch anything too hot. I usually use a little pliers. All right, let's close this down. There we go. I'll just uh, pressurize it. A little weight on there. 
Uh, and you can already see that it a little injected out the top there, and it's still doing it. So I oh, I'm uh, I'm gonna let it warm up a little bit. All right, so it's melting on the base here. It means we're probably good to go. <clears throat> All right, there we go. All right, look at that. Even build in some of the channeling. Look at that. An injected molded part. So the little little ends that I I didn't they did mean to, I did mean for them to be kind of like bleeder areas, but not in the way they were used, but. So when I make molds, or when I make yeah, when I make the molds, I learned that the shorter the stem distance to the actual piece, the better. <laughs> That's why this hole right on the front of it works the best. For this one in particular. If you're gonna put text on something, make sure you invert the uh, the image. Don't they're near the, near the text. <laughs> I realized that after it finished carving, but uh, this is an ironic. Good job, token, I guess. If you're gonna do plastics, uh, work in a nice ventilated area. All right, well, until next time, keep up the good jobs.